nice looking a minute ago. The sunrise was nicer a minute ago. It's getting a little dull now. Here's a picture of Maui coming up on the horizon. It's probably around quarter to seven in the morning right now. I was awoken to a beautiful sunrise, but I didn't get the camera fast enough. I'd like to zoom in for you. Well, they may be right. It doesn't look like much of an island now. It's supposed to be a very nice place. It's looking pretty, um, pretty empty. I'm not sure where all the good stuff is. Oh, that's interesting, huh? It's like coming in the uh, the back door of a place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the coffee bar at the base of the grand staircase. Deck five. Talk. Waiting for a trip. We have a robot in flux. Islands. The way that's arranged is that each of the four largest islands in Hawaii are each their own county. And then those four counties report to six. The other two are under state control. One is Ka'o Olave, which we will see on our way to the aquarium. And I'll point that out for you. It is uninhabited. Other than falls and some areas on the island. So very lush vegetation here. And you'll start to see that as we drop down into the valley. We also bring you here because this site is very significant in native Hawaiian history. This is where a battle occurred between two Hawaiian kings, and they were fighting not just for control of Maui, but as part of an effort to unify all of the Hawaiian islands under one king for the first time. They call them tulip trees because of the shape of their blossoms. And there is one down here on our right. You should be able to see it through the upper windshield here. On our right, these kind of tulip-shaped blossoms. And one above the power pole off to our right up high. With local folks, in addition to people coming up to visit, uh, it has barbecues. Tulip tree just ahead of us and on the right there. And directly in front of us, this is not an exotic tree with purple blossoms. This is a mango tree. You can see some of the mangoes hanging down. And that is a bougainvillea that is hitchhiking on the mango tree. The palms that you can see up here look a bit older. This is not an expanding area. This is not somewhere that's seeing any growth. So most of the homes that are here have been here for a while. There is not a great deal of building here at the edges of the West Maui Mountains for a moment, but gorgeous blooms. And the things that sort of look like red pine cones, those are ginger. And some more lobster claw heliconia, a little bit of blue ginger there. The red pine cone things, they also come in pink, and there's a white variety. Those are not actually flowers. They are 50. We were down to 12,000. That many Native Hawaiians had perished here, primary cultures. Now up to our right, this is the Philippine Pavilion. They were the last of the contract work, sports a lot of contract workers to other countries, but most of the Portuguese who came here came from the Azores and Madeira. So they were used to island living. They basically changed islands and changed oceans. New Pacific Railway. And when that work was completed, they then came here because they didn't want to go back to China. So they came here to be contract workers in the sugarcane and this used damming of the water. And the story goes that 
after that huge battle here, 21,000 warriors, that the water ceased to flow. Well, that wouldn't be too tough looking at the water down there today, but historians say everybody on the losing side of this battle was dead. That's right had to climb the cliffs around us that you can see to get away from the battle. Now granted, they didn't climb the really vertical parts. They had to scramble up where they could. They managed to avoid the worst of the violence and survive them and up and over the mountains, but basically dead end. So we'll go up and park at the end and then come back out the way we've come in. Really much. Um, this was supposedly discovered in the 60s. Picture of the Mexican breadfruit and the monstera plant. This was built in 1832. She looks like uh, she probably used another coat of paint at this point, but uh, kind of nice that we have some reminders of that period. The Guayuku Union Church, this dates back to the Christian missionary era, looks rather British, and we did have British missionaries here. We had a lot of British business people, too, and there were significant ties between the Kingdom of Hawaii and